6 a.m. And I cannot stress enough, if we can get those dew points to back off, mm -hmm. man, that's that's going to feel pretty comfortable. Yeah, be good. Yeah. Right. forward to it. Best. And thank you, Justin. All right, Lane's here with a look at the sports. I got some exciting Astros news. They did lose today. We'll have those highlights. But some exciting news about an exciting young guy who's on the way uh, to join the team. So we'll also have the XFL Showcase, which is at TDECU Stadium today. What did Johnny Manziel tell me about the league and his future plans? Hear that next in sports. Welcome back. The Astros are calling up a number three prospect, Jordan Alvarez, who is currently hitting 343 with 23 homers and 71 RBIs for Round Rock Express. He may reportedly join the lineup as early as tomorrow for game three with the Orioles. So let's head out to Minute Maid. Check out highlights from the middle game of the series this afternoon. Framber Valdez getting the start. A solid performance. Seven strikeouts through seven innings of work. Just one blemish right here in the sixth inning. The solo bomb from Renato Nunez putting Baltimore on the board. Bottom of the inning, Yuli Gurriel goes deep to right center, but check it out, Anthony Santander robs him of what could have been the three-run bomb. Still, Derek Fisher scores on the sacrifice. The ninth inning, Raymond Goudon gives up the two-run homer as the Astros lose it 4-1. to one. In high school baseball, Round Rock, UIL State Tournament, Class 6A final between Ridgepoint and South Lake Carroll. And this one was over early, unfortunately. An 11 run third inning by South Lake Carroll as Carroll repeats as the champions with a 17 0 victory, breaking the record for runs in a game and in an inning. Here's Adam Wexler with more. A trip to Austin for the state tournament, a semifinal win on Friday, putting Ridgepoint into today's state title game, the best season in program history. Unfortunately, today's title game did not go as hoped. I told them that it really doesn't matter when you get here. We could have lost three to two, played great, or had an off day like we had today. Uh, you know, end of the day, you get on the bus and you didn't quite take care of business. That was a hell of a season, and you know, it didn't come out our way, but his one is one is for a. a I think it was a great season. Sucks we couldn't win it, but we were able to make it this far, and not many people get the chance to. And we're proud to do this good this season. It doesn't take anything away from what a great group of student athletes that we have at Ridgepoint. They've done a great job of, of battling to get here. While today's lopsided loss in the state final, a little bit tough to stomach, this team knows they just put together the best season in program history in the future. Very bright for the Panthers. With Ridgepoint in Round Rock, Adam Wexler, KPRC, Channel 2 Sports. Okay, thank you, X. Sources close to the situation confirm with Channel 2 Sports that Mike D'Antoni and the Rockets are closer to working out a deal. The buyout issue has been removed, but they have yet to agree on salary. Now, just 17 months after taking over a general manager, the Texans parted ways with Brian Gain yesterday. Today at the TriStar Collector Show, I asked wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins about the move. That I can only go out and, uh, you know, do what I can uh, on the football field. So uh, I'm sure that the organization felt like that's what was best for us. So, uh, you know, that's, that's what I'm going with. Over at TDECU Stadium, the XFL held their summer showcase, basically a tryout camp for players to impress the league. Lots of recognizable talent from U of H and Texas A&M, including Trey Williams, who's seen life in the NFL and AAF and is ready for another opportunity. I'm ready to showcase my talent, show everybody that, you know, who Trey Williams is. You know, uh, I heard Christian Michael is supposed to be, you know, joining the league as well. You know, we ready for that, man. It's supposed to be some good competition coming on. When you see kids like this go as hard as they can every play, I mean, they're, they're, that, that as a coach, that's what you love. Johnny Manziel in town today. He was at TriStar along with D-Hop, a guy who was bounced around after his college career playing in the NFL, the CFL, and most recently the AAF. So I asked Manziel if he had any interest in playing in the XFL. Yeah, I have interest in continuing my football career in and, and whatever capacity that is. And you know, I think the opportunities will present themselves moving forward. And, you know, I will look at that and, and make the decision on what's best for my family. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm 26 years old sitting here today. You know, I want to continue to play. He would definitely pack the seats at TDECU mm -hmm. Stadium. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Good deal on both sides. We'll see. A little bit of a teaser. We'll find out, <laughs> I guess, when the time comes. Thanks, Eddie. Good question. Thanks a lot. Good. <laughs> That's going to do it for us. There's a quick look at the weather there. Not too bad. Well, yeah, it's going to be hot tomorrow. Get ready for that. But that cold front will be mighty nice early next week. All right. Thank you, Justin. And thank you for joining us. That's it for us. Saturday Night Live is next.